Greetings from your brothers and sisters in Christ at Martin Luther College, our faculty, our staff, and in particular our students. I'm sure with all of you, we are thankful for the declining pandemic numbers we are seeing in so much of our country and in much of the world. On our campus, we're also watching with special eagerness the beginning of our state of Minnesota's rollback of its pandemic guidelines. We anticipate with eagerness what this could mean for our campus, for summer activities such as camps we're ho hoping to host, and optimistically we're beginning to get a picture of what fall 2021, this fall, will look like. We are picturing a campus where many of the pandemic protocols have gone away and we can enjoy life together on campus uh, as much as it has been known. I in particular am looking forward to beginning to have more than just bridge of nose and eyes as cues for names for students and faculty and staff. But of course what this video in particular is seeking to inform you of is what's going to happen for the rest of this semester on our campus. Through all of this, we've kept in mind how important it is for Training for Public Ministry to have our students and faculty and staff together on campus. Training for the Public Ministry doesn't just happen inside the classroom. So much of it happens outside the campus as a spirit of the gospel is caught, not just taught, as we live and worship and grow together on this hill. So all along, our goal has been to do all we can, under God's blessing, to remain together for this entire second semester up through graduation week. week. So, with that in mind, we are going to continue for the next few weeks still to be a closed campus, as we call it. Our campus is open to students and active faculty and staff, as well as prospective students, those important visits from the students who will be our next year's and the year after that uh, campus family. Yes, I know, that sadly means that many in our extended MLC family, those of you who are parents of our students and our others in our extended family, will not be able to enjoy together with us this spring athletic and theatrical and musical presentations. We are going to do our best to live stream as many of those as possible so you can at least enjoy them in that way. But we are also looking forward to the beginning of the opening of our campus as we come to graduation week. Again, as we continue to watch the changing uh, protocols in the state of Minnesota, much could still change. But right now, we're looking forward to saying to every one of our graduates who will be walking in our commencement service, that they will be able to welcome to campus two guests. Our graduates, along with those two guests, will be able to enjoy graduation week, our commencement concerts, our graduation service, and the call day service. Keep posted, watching our website and our social media and our email information as we finish up the details of what this graduation week reimagined from many other years, obviously, will look like. And finally, pray. Pray for our graduating seniors in particular. Pray for our teacher and staff ministry candidates who will be assigned to positions in the public ministry and to those training for the pastoral ministry who after graduation, we pray, will continue their studies and their movement toward the pastoral ministry at Wisconsin Lutheran Seminary. Pray for them. For this reminds us that God continues to touch the world through what happens on this hill. God be with you, brothers and sisters.